picture this. A picture of your family on the wall. Huh? It's going to hold a 4 by 6 picture. I had some walnut scraps, so I'm going to make a little bit longer one. And this is the exact same size as the Amazon, 7 inches wide, 24 inches long. Do you see that? Quarter inch thick. I'm going to put a link in the description. Link in the description. You can get this size walnut on Amazon. We got to take this to the table saw. If you don't have a table saw, ask a friend who has a table saw because that's the easiest way to do what we're going to do. You get a really cheap Ryobi. I'll put a link. Super handy little table saw. I use it for small jobs. I got to quit. I love walnut though, look at this. It's gonna be beautiful. So I need some half inch strips. I set my fence at half inch. I always like to check it. I put a new blade on. Some of the blades have different thicknesses. My dad would say that's dead nuts, which I think is like right on, spot on, but that is right on. Dead nuts? Oh, decisions, decisions. I wanna keep this blonde in the background Oh, it's not going to be much, but I'm going to cut this side. So I need two half inch strips. So I'm going to go four strips out of this side. Here we go. It's important to use a long push stick. I've used this one a lot. I've actually got it trimmed so I can do really thin pieces through here. But it's important to have a long one. So you're, you're not only pushing, you're putting pressure down. I cut some strips the other day and I didn't use a push stick. I was in a hurry, quarter inch, and it would just go through and go, wham! I'm surprised one didn't stick in the foam. I mean, I, I stood off to the side and I just, I needed eight of them, so I was like, choo, choo. If you want more tips like this, like and subscribe. Got our strips. Now this needs to be four inches wide. So this is where your four inch picture is going to sit. So I go just under four, a sixteenth under. It gives me a little pressure on my photo. We have almost zero waste. We have a little paint stir stick left over. Uh, I won't throw this away because I will use it at some time. Follow me. I'm going to turn the dust collector on. Sorry, sometimes when this thing winds down, it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Not today. Man, I almost puked when I saw how beautiful that figurine is on the end. You're not even looking at it. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Need my glue and my pin. This is my Ryobi pin nailer. And I've got some three-quarter inch pins in there. I'm doing pins because my 18-gauge Brad would blow these apart. The pins don't. The girls needed some sandpaper, and they called me. I was on a material run, and I'm like, okay, right at the TV, second shelf. This is where all my sandpaper lives. It's like, it's a box of sandpaper. There's a big box of round sandpaper. And I said, okay, check the, check the router cabinet. Is there a clear bin? Yes, there is a clear bin. And this fell. And, there, and they said, can I leave the stapler? I'm afraid I'll turn it on. But anyway, the sandpaper is up there, ladies, if you need to, for the chicken coop. It's fun in your shop if everything has a home. It makes cleaning up a lot easier. Came all the way over here to get glue, and I got chatty. There it is so hot uh, oh I went to get sandpaper there's a few tool marks on the walnut I want to get out you can see the shiny shiny tool marks from the planer I'm just gonna polish those off all right so I'm gonna go like this and like this 
So I've got a little bit of burn you can see from the table saw. I'm just going to sand that off on the pieces that you'll see. Sometimes I cheat and I'll stack the pieces together if they're identical like this. Probably burned because I ran a couple hundred board feet of alder through the table saw and I'm out of tar and pitch remover. Sometimes if you just clean the blade, it it's just uh, gunked up because that's a pretty sharp blade. I have two tips on my glue bottle. This is a great glue bottle. I put, I've gone through so many. Anything from keeping like a Dawn dish soap bottle, which worked great for a while. Um, glue bot, and then this is, it's a glue mate, mate. It's my, it's, it's my glue mate. I never could do that, and I shouldn't ever try. But this is my mate. I love this glue bottle. It comes with a cap, and I've had a couple of them. It doesn't come with two tips, but this is from an old one that I destroyed. Long story. But I have a thick tip. Thick tip. It's just got a bigger hole. And then my thin tip. And the cool part is if you have two tips, you can just screw one on the top. And it holds your cap while you're working. When you're done working, put your cap on, keeps it nice and fresh. Switched out, I got my narrow bit. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the edge. You don't need a lot of glue, but the glue is what's going to hold it. So you want a nice smooth. You probably saw my technique there, but... Yeah, I'll show you here once I get this on. This is my front. So all I'm going to do is position this. I know it's the exact same length because I cut it off the same board. It's going to flush the end in the back. And then I'm going to put a pin right on the edge. The pin's going to hold it until the glue dries. So you do want to make sure you get a good, smooth coat of glue. Every time I do a project, one of my followers usually reaches out and says they enjoyed the project. So I'm excited to hear how many of you try this. Love and hate glue. Got a bunch of rags. They exist. Promise. Just want to clean up the glue as I go. I'll sand it too. But we're not staining it, so it's not that big a deal. We are going to clear coat it. I don't want any glue on the inside edge. Got to be really careful with your pins because they can pop out just like that guy. Did a whole spring punch video, but I'm just going to knock this one in there. I'll patch that up with a little walnut timber mate. I'm actually going to switch out to some 5 8 pins. Less chance of them popping out like that. You know what's funny? What? I have 5 8 in there. <laughs> I just don't like shooting through. So here's the tip I, you probably saw. Pinch the nozzle, but I'll pinch each side of the board. And you see how it just puts a nice line right down the middle. And I take my glue spreader, and I like to go at an angle like this, and then at an angle like this, gets a nice coat of glue on there. It's going to squeeze out, it does, but we'll just wipe it up. And then once again, you add your strip, push it with the end, and you're going to want to try to go straight up and down, people. And it could veer off course simply because of an imperfection in the wood, a knot, etc. Yes, I nailed it. Nothing came out. Take this fancy dancy glue remover tool. Oh, that's looking good. That looks beautiful. So I just got to put my edge pieces on. Honestly, you wouldn't have to do the lip that I'm going to do. I just like it. It looks good. Let me get a picture on my tool cabinet vacation i had staples in it so sorry it's a little ripped this is the idea see how that sits in there how cool is that so you wouldn't need the lip because there's enough to hold it but i like that little bit of extra good looking family right there makes me want to go on vacation okay so i'm going to run a bead of glue on both of these pin them in place 
Both my older brothers were wrestlers. Oh, I get a little PTSD when I say the word pin. I don't know how many times I got pinned to the floor. <laughs> Again, the pins are just keeping it tight until the glue dries. That looks pretty good. So there's one. We're going to put one on top. A little horse for breakfast. Looking good. Just want to wipe up the glue. All right, I'm going to dry this off in front of the fan, but then I'll do a clear coat. I'm just going to use a spray. I'll put a little picture hanger in the back. I go put a little wall hanger. And then the cool part is, especially with my wife, it's only a month into summer. And we've got a whole wall full of pictures from just a month of summer fun. So as the seasons change, your pictures change. And like how, how fun is that? You can fit, uh, it's 24 inches. This is six. So you can fit four in there. Just put that in your cubicle at work. We have ours in our kitchen when we're washing dishes. Makes me smile. When I say we, I mean when I'm washing dishes. We don't really wash dishes together. Rambling. Uh, in the kitchen because I love seeing the memories. So it's fun to remember the memories, I guess. And then sand, sand, sand. Just want to get the glue squeeze out, out of there. I bought a hundred of these little picture hangers on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And I go through them pretty fast, but they work great. Super cheap, just find center, line up your picture hanger, and screw it in. Thankfully, it came with little tiny baby screws, so it works great for quarter-inch walnut. It's having trouble with the screws, so I just grabbed my little spring punch, knocked a hole in there just to get the screw started. Worked out great. Zip. And then just clear coat, very thin. Just want to do about in, eight inches away from your piece, back and forth. Uh, two coats, probably. Let one dry and then shoot it again. And just hang it on the wall. Boop.